Don't stay away from us, can you? <laughs> it was the reunion they thought might never come. The nursing team who dedicated their lives to saving Pauline's not once, but Stuck twice. Did I do a dance for you? I can't remember if I did a dance for you this time. Revisiting the isolation tent where she spent nearly 40 days and nights in agony, however, is a trickier experience. I just know that I never want to go back in there again. Of all her memories of the tent, the nights were the worst. I would just cry at night time. I would just cry in the tent. I was just crying so much to the point that I wanted to scream. I just... I don't know if I was scared of dying or... I just sheer frustration about being there and wanting out. And the nurses would just come and just sit with me. Even put their arms through the, the tent and just stroke my... I like to have my head, head stroked, silly and childlike, I know. The strain on the nursing staff was immense, not just in the practical help Pauline needed, but willing her to keep going. The biggest worry was, would Pauline be there in the morning when, you, when, when we came in? And trying to, one of the most difficult things was that everybody that was inside supporting Pauline, but it's trying to rally around the family, trying to prepare the family. It would be quite easy to sit down in a corner and cry and think how unfair life is, but that wouldn't get Pauline anywhere. It's testament to their skill and Pauline's determination the Ebola eventually subsided. And the moment she was strong enough to walk out of the tent and back to real life and human contact is one she will never forget. And what's it like to get a hug after all that time? Yeah, it was lovely. I just remember everything, because I'd been behind plastic for so long, everything just seemed so cute. Like looking at the colours in the walls, everything just seemed to stand out more. And my hearing as well, I could just hear everything. Because in, in the tent, it's like negative pressure, so you're, you're in this little bubble and it affects everything you're seeing and hearing. So it was just so acute, just everything when I came out. It's a bit overwhelming, mm. perhaps, was it? It was just a great sense of relief that I'd, I'd made it, I'd done it, I'd survived Ebola.